Hi, my name is Kendi Proho. Welcome to my first YouTube channel. Today I'm here to show you how to make this beautiful blue ombre fur collar necklace. I've always wanted to make this video out for today and I wanted to have like this perfect ending to Black History Month because you know it's about to be over in a couple of hours and I want to end it off with being creative because sometimes people forget that there are creativity is in within us and I hope people enjoy and learn from it. What you're going to need is some tissue paper and you're also going to need some cotton balls so it can absorb the paint water or water paint and then also you're going to need some good old fashioned um, bright primary blue Calvin blue prefer. So what you're going to do is take the paint and you're going to put it in a cup. You're going to add water to it and you're going to mix it up. You want to have, you want to turn it into a nice watery mixture. You're going to add the cotton ball, separate them out first, and you're going to mix and have it in there. You want the ratio of cotton balls to water. You want more water than cotton balls. You want it all to be sitting in there absorbing the paint water. You don't want the water to be more paint-like. Just remember that. You want it to be more watery than paint. So if you want to go with less paint and more water, that's okay. It's encouraged. Then you're going to do that over again, but with different smaller cups if you want to go for that. And you're going to do different shades. So the amount of white paint you might add into it is going to be very. So if you want the blue to be lighter, add more um, light paint. If you want the blue to be more darker, add more blue paint. If you want it in the middle, you can add... Um, just a right amount <laughs> and then you're going to repeat the process over again the best way to get um, more of the cotton to absorb it is if you separate it out instead of just shoving it in there and you want to have the more of a watery texture with your uh, water paint than a paint thick texture because you want the cotton to absorb the cotton the, the paint water so it can carry on the color Now, as you can see, I have my mixtures. It's like mostly absorb the cotton, just absorb all of that water paint, except for that last one, so I'm gonna probably do it that on the side. Okay, now you're gonna take a piece of construction paper and, and you're gonna create and basically drape down and cut two thick rectangular squares for the piece that will help you anchor and hold the bib part of the necklace and connect you with the ribbon or chain, whichever you use, to hold your necklace. Now you're gonna cut them out, and the reason why we're cutting them out now is so you can make sure they properly can fit on the necklace and that they don't, like, they're not too big or they're not too small, because you want, I want the edges of this part to be cleaned up with something nice. So you can see I make sure that they're nicely measured out, and we're gonna move on to the next part. Okay, so I did this part off camera, but I, what I did was I strained the cotton pieces out and I let them sit and dry in a nice tray. They've been sitting and drying for like about two days, so I guess about 48 hours if you want to count it. And it will be like from 48 to 72 hours because you want them to be really dry. And now I'm just going to take them and I'm just going to um, piece them apart and separate them out. Some of them, I must warn you, are still kind of wet or they still have paint substitutes on them. Uh, some of them are going to be very, very, very hard because you're because the fact that you're mixing um, acrylic paint with water. So the ones that are really hard, it kind of, they, I mean, like they're not difficult to do or move around with, but they're the types that you would have to like really put your fingers and get to work into. Um, next part, as you can see right now, I'm doing is I'm layering them on. So I'm you starting with this beautiful ombre effect by starting with the lightest shade of blue at the collar neckline part, and I'm taking a nice hot glue and I'm gluing them down piece by piece. Now you can see that I'm taking um, the whole necklace because I finished and completed it later on. And I put, and I'm putting another layer of tissue paper 
on it because it's just kind of wet and it's kind of soft and I don't want it to like fall apart so it's good to do one to two layers of tissue paper you're gonna place it on there and then you're gonna go and just cut like you're just gonna go and cut around it to like um, create the nice form that you've already created and you're gonna see that right now So just remember the reason why I'm doing this is because I want the bib part of the necklace to be secured on there and one piece of tissue paper with all that heavy um, cotton mixed with water paint could pull it down so you would want to like you know um, <laughs> you know put like at least like one to two more layers of like t um, tissue paper underneath to reinforce the hardness of the bottom foundation of the layering of the necklace and also you can see that I'm having some difficulty with my glue gun because I don't know because I did some other experiments for problem solving and it kind of messed with my glue gun so you know that's why it's acting up but as you can see I'm like doing some nice touches finishing edits because I really want the ombre effect to be very very vivid and looks like some type of painting and you can see that as you can see this is the final look of it so I'm really making sure it's secure on this is for a project that I'm doing for my college um, class and I this was a lot of fun I have to admit it was very fun to do it was my favorite part and that's why when I came up with this idea I was like I need to record this and share it with people so that people can also learn how to do this because remember when um, you know collar necklaces were a trend back in early high school um, when I was younger like a collar necklace was pretty much of the trend and instead of it wouldn't look like this but it looks like it had like a nice gems like you would have the nice like felted colored ones that were like pink and blue and then you would have all those gems and rhinestones on it and then it would be tied up with like a nice chain or a nice little like blue ribbon or something like that they were often sold at like like cheap dollar store um uh, dollar store um, dollar stores or like cheap dollar store um, jewelry um, sh pop-up shops that would often come around per season and this was just an homage to that part of my childhood well teenagehood that I loved I never had one particularly myself and I learned that it's so easy to make so I was like you know I'm gonna incorporate into that into my fashion idea and you know I'm so impatient because you know it's already hard so I'm tearing it off but it's very easy to make so I just wanted to like show a different way of making it and it was like the reason why I do this because these materials are something you can see and find around your house you don't have to buy most of it so <laughs> it's really good and it's really fun
now as you can see I've completed it now I'm just um, going back over and cutting off all the little access pieces of leftover tissue paper that because I don't want any of the tissue paper to show I want nothing but just the um, cotton um, pieces to show because I want to give this image that it is a fur collar necklace but it's really just not it's just a wannabe fur collar necklace and I'm preparing to drape it on my um my mannequin and as you can see you see that nice beautiful bodice so if you ever want to learn how to make that I will probably show how to make that in my next video but for now I'm just currently just testing to make sure it fits the mannequin now I'm doing the final pieces. I'm adding, I'm taking two pieces of ribbon and I measured it out to make sure they drape properly and I'm hot gluing them on the, the necklace. I'm being very careful because hot glue is, remember I'm very hot so it can even bleed through fabric. I'm doing like a two different layer method. Um, if you don't understand why I do it this way, so it's that it can seal in rough edges that, um, that will show if you just do it one way. And I'm going to do it to two, I'm going to put two ribbons on each side of the necklace because I want it to be nicely reinforced and it can hang on to the, um, be so it can hang on to the beautiful neck of the model that's going to be wearing this later on. And I just love, and I just love the color too. I do love the color. You can also add chains um, to this. Like you can do whatever you have. Like I'm using ribbon to like hold the um, necklace together, but you can also use chains. You can use string. It's whatever you have. So it's not something you should really worry about. And you're gonna come in. I want to get bring it close so you can understand and see how I do um, how I add the ribbon on so you can understand. I cut the ribbon because I wanted to, um, it to be properly measured right onto the um, neck and I added a, um, a line of glue to the neck because I wanted it to like not be discomforting to the model who will wear it soon and it's now nice and dry so I'm just gonna throw it up on my mannequin again to make sure it fits properly and I have the proper length of ribbon so that when I tie it up it's gonna look nice. And now as you can see, my tired self is like finally finished. And there you have it, this beautiful um, bib necklace, cotton ombre effect blue necklace. I hope you enjoyed and like and subscribe. Thanks.